In this video, we are going to be creating our first job for Jenkins and we'll see how we can execute the code. So I'm just going to log in as uh, admin for my Jenkins and then over here, I'm going to enter the name of the job. So the name of the job can be anything. You can set any name that you want. The one which I'm going to be doing here is going to be something like uh, Jenkins Cypress Pipeline. And then I'm going to choose the pipeline project here. So as I said before, I'm going to be choosing the pipeline uh, for the basic. And also I'm going to show you how you can work with the pipeline with the advanced option, something like parallel executions and stuff. So I'm just going to choose the pipeline. I'm going to hit OK. And then you can see that it brings up our new template over here that you can work with. And once again, guys, I'm not going to show you how you can work with the pipeline uh, and what is pipelines and stuff, but I'm going to show you very quickly how you can uh, get to work with pipeline. So basically, while working with pipeline, you need to configure a couple of things. Like if I just go to the Jenkins homepage, maybe uh, you can see that we have something called as manage Jenkins. And within in here, you can see that there are something called as manage nodes. And within manage node, you can see that I have a node called master. And this is nothing but the default installation that I have within my machine. So basically this uh, master is responsible for executing my code right now over here. So I'm just going to choose the master for now. Uh, and then I will show you how you can uh, run the test with the scripts. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set the, uh, uh, the node here as master because we know that we have a node called master and then over here within the script i'm gonna uh, do a couple of things so since i'm gonna work with the git with a basic uh, repository which is the the repository that we already saw the git uh, cypress git demo in our earlier videos for the github integration which is nothing but the previous section that we were discussing about in the cypress 3.4.1 version the feature so i'm going to use the same repository so i'm just going to copy or clone this particular repo so for that i'm just going to go over here so if you don't know the syntax of the pipeline then probably you can click this particular pipeline syntax and over here you can search for what is called as git and then you can put the repository URL in here and the branch is going to be master. There is no credential. And if I generate the pipeline script, it's going to generate a pipeline script for me. So this way you can see that it reduces so much of remembrance that you need to have while working with the pipelines. If you are pretty new, something like that. So you can use this pipeline syntax tool, which is very, very handy while working with. So I'm just going to paste this guy over here, the git of this particular uh, URL for cloning the uh, GitHub code. And then I'm going to uh, run the code. And once again, guys, as we already know for executing this particular code, all we're going to do is uh, npx cypress run. And that way it's going to execute the uh, code for us. So for doing that, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, go over here once again. Uh, as we know that we are going to be executing a batch command here in Windows or if you're going to use uh, maybe Mac operating system or Linux operating system, you should be uh, running that using shell scripting. So you can see that we have something called as SH, which is for the shell scripting. And because I'm using my Windows operating system this time, I need to use what is called as a uh, batch or Windows batch scripting. So I'm going to choose this guy and then I'm going to uh, paste the command that I need to execute basically. So the command that I'm interested in this time is going to be uh, npm install. So that's the first thing that we need to do. I'm going to generate the script. I'm just going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it over here. So I'm going to give a label here. Uh, so I'm going to call this as uh, install npm package. And then since we already have this uh, command, I can just start typing it. So I'm just going to say uh, I'm going to uh, run the basic test, All right? So run test and the script is going to be npx cypress run. So this way it will execute the code for us. So if you remember in our previous videos or our, all of our earlier videos, we were using this particular command to execute our Cypress code. So I'm just going to uh, use this file, this command for performing an operation. So that's it guys. This is the only thing that we need to do for the pipeline. And you can see that it's pretty straightforward and simple. So I'm just going to save this and this way it's going to create 
a new pipeline for me and it says that uh, there is no data available the pipeline has not yet run so now if you try to build this particular job you can see that it creates a first job for us and if I go to this particular job and if I go to the console output you can see that it is now trying to clone this particular repository and that's what we told initially and it also doing an npm install that's the second command that we actually told uh, to Jenkins to do things for us and you can see that it has installed the uh, Cypress 3.4.1 uh, and also uh, it says some vulnerabilities and stuff that's fine uh, and, and also says found zero vul vulnerabilities which is fine and then you can see that it is now doing a npx Cypress run so basically this is where things are going to be very very interesting because this is where it is going to execute uh, our actual test code that we use to execute from Visual Studio code and now it is going to run in the headless mode and you can see that it is currently starting in the headless mode and it says that it found one uh, spec file which is nothing but the action spec.js file and it is executing the code so if you go to the repo if you go to the Cypress and if you go all the way to the uh, examples there is only one uh, spec file which has been checked in for this particular repository and that's the code it is currently executing in here and you can see that the test also got successfully completed which is pretty cool and now if I go back to my project you can see that the test is in, uh, in blue color which means it is uh, working fine without any problem so everything is working fine without any problem so this is how we can see that we can actually run a Cypress test using Jenkins using continuous integration which is pretty awesome in our next video we'll see how we can even extend this particular option to work with our private repository that I have already created which is nothing but Cypress reporting repository which is the same source code that I have downloaded from our earlier video so that I can show you how you can run all our code that we're executing and also there were some failures which is fine just to showcase you how the failures actually look like as well so that you can understand how things work. So meet you in our next video. Thank you.